So this lab demonstration is about the buccal canine retractor. It has two types, the simple and the modified buccal canine retractor. The uses of it is used to distal movement of a medially inclined canine. If it was within the line of occlusion, we are going to use the simple BCR. While if it was buccally medially inclined and buccally malpose, we are going to use the modified BCR. And we are now going to know what is the main difference between these two types. The component, the simple BCR has a coil, main coil, which is about three to four millimeter in diameter, located distal to the long axis of the canine, and about two millimeter away from the deepest part of the buccal vestibule, and it should be elevated 0.5 to one millimeter from the buccal mucosa. This is the buccal mucosa, and this is the coil. They should be, there should be a space between them, 0.5 to one millimeter to prevent trauma, okay? So this is the coil, and we have also the main or the medial arc which extends into a straight shape from the main coil into the interdental area. It either ends in the simple buccal canine retractor by an non-traumatic end in the interdental area as cervical as possible to the tooth, while in the modified it ends into a C-clasp, into a U-shape that enter into the interdental area, then a C-clasp in the middle of the crown, and it should be well adapted to the tooth surface to prevent the food stagnation and the trauma to the mucosa. The third component is the distal arm. It should be curved, not straight as the medial arm. This curvature will keep the force as horizontal as possible and prevent the extrusion of the canine. Then we have the occlusal part that is well adapted to the occlusal part between the uh, first premolar and the second premolar and the tag which is straight well adapted to the pellet and it ends with a small L shape of 0.5 millimeter in length to allow the acrylic to enter beneath the clasp and it aids in the retention of the wire inside the acrylic. The gauge of the wire is 0.7 millimeter hard stainless steel wire. We are going to make it, making it by using the angle of layer and as we say the gauge of the wire is 0.7 millimeter hard stainless steel wire. We will start by making the coil. Though it doesn't matter this coil whether it is was directed upward or downward. Just like this. Then before closing the coil I'm going to make a small rounding and this is going to be the distal arm of the spring. Just like this. I can make it by using my finger or by using the conical peak of the angle player, the white part of the conical peak, by giving a successive bends just like this. So it's going to have the rounding of the player. So this arm which is straight is going to be the medial arm and this arm which is curved is going to be the distal arm of the Buckle can I retractor? I'm going to point out the long axis of the canine. The coil should be located distal to it, just like this, two millimeter away from the buckle vestibule. Two millimeter away from the buckle vestibule. Distal to the long axis of the canine. So this is the position of the end of the medial arm, which is going to end by a small nanotraumatic end that enter into the interdental area, in this area. So I am going to point out the position of the interdental area. This is the non position of the nanotraumatic end, which is a small coil. squeezing to ensure that it is completely non-traumatic.
just passed my finger over it to make sure it is not wrong. So this is the coil and this is the nitrum with the medial arm. This is the coil and this is the medial arm and this is the net position of the non-traumatic end. Okay. So now we are going to point the contact between the four and five to start the occlusal part of the Spring. I'm going to make a right angle bend. We can make a trial bend to make sure that we have the correct or precise marking. I'm just like a small bend in the wire to make sure our position is, is right. It was all right, we are going to complete it. So I'm going to point the end of the occlusal part. This part, this occlusal part should be well adapted. We don't, ha we have to remember that the gauge of the wire is 0.7 millimeter. So it should be well adapted inter-occlusal to prevent the interference with the opposing teeth. Then this is the tag which is well adapted on the pellet and it ends with an L shape that is perpendicular on the pellet. This is the small L shape. This is the simple buckle canine retractor. Now we are going to make the modified BCR. The same gauge of the wire is also a 0.7 millimeter and the same component with a small, very small difference, only in the end of the medial arm. Instead of the non-traumatic end, we are going to make a C clasp, a U shape and a C clasp. So the I'm going to start by making the coil, which is 3 to 4 millimeter in diameter. Then I'm going to make the rounding of the distal arm, just like this. And then squeezing the coil. The round part is the distal arm, and the straight arm is the medial arm. I think it needs more rounding, so I'm going to make it by using the flare. We have to make sure that there is no bend in the wire and the wire is as shiny as possible. This is the position of the coil. Distal to the long axis of the canine, two millimeter away from the buccal vestibule. So, I'm going to point also the interdental area of the canine, just like this. And then, Instead of making an untraumatic end, I'm going to make a right angle bend. A right angle bend to start making the Yulu. And twisting the wire around the player. This is the Yulu. This is the Yulu. The Yulu should enter the interdental area just like this. should be entered here. I think it needs a little squeeze. And this is the C. Just a twisting the wire just like this. You can do it by your hand, or you can use the player. It's okay.
return it to the cast to see the end of it. About a three quarter of the crown width. This is the sequence. Slightly squeezing the coil. This is the U, this is the C-class, and this is the position of it. Okay. the same steps as the simple. I'm going to point the contact between the 4 and 5 and make a right angle bend. It should take the width of the occlusal surface of the tool should be well adapted and it ends with another right angle bend and the tag should be rounded and well adapted to the pellet just like this and it ends with an L shape that is perpendicular on the pellet. This is the modified BCR. This is the closer part. And this is the buckle part. Needs little more adjustments. Regarding the activation of the VCR, it's going to be by squeezing the coil just like this. And for the modified, we need to add a parietal movement to the C clasp to push the canine not only distally but also in the parietal direction. While for the simple VCR, the activation will be done only by squeezing the coil. Okay, in general, any spring which is located buccally should be activated by closing the coil while for the springs that is situated palatally uh, is usually activated by just the opposite by opening the spring just like the finger spring this is the end <laughs>